Hey Scrappers, I'm going to do a little tutorial for you guys and um, introduce the, some new products that I had just gotten from Hobby Lobby and I'll tell you how I like them and uh, one is going to be these uh, walnut stains and they're by a company, um, there's the name right there, I can't pronounce it so but it is made in the USA and that's the company and these particular walnut stains I got at Hobby Lobby and two come in a pack and I think they're around six dollars so you would definitely want to use like your coupons on them and they're just little um, bottles they're about the size of a mini mister and um, there's about point two seven fluid ounces so you don't even get it's just a little over a quarter ounce in these bottles so it does go pretty quickly um, Michaels also sells like a two ounce um, bottle which would be roughly about this size and they sell that in a set of four um, walnut stains but these ones um, at, at Hobby Lobby they had um, three different sets Okay, and, and they had, these are the um, ones that they had. They had the color Eucalyptus, which is like a, a greenish color, but it's like a brownish greenish color. And it it's really close to the Furred Raylap. Um, and this is the color that it comes out. This is the, a tag I already had sprayed and stamped. And then there's this, um, this like pinkish reddish color here and it's called Cherry Blossom and um, and like I said it goes fast I did two sprays with this guys and half the bottle is gone so you definitely you want to um, as I was just you know using it for the first time I am used to using um, Glimmer Mist which you can you know spray kind of a heavy amount and not a lot is coming out of the bottle you don't have to you know it doesn't get used up that fast however with these walnut stains they are um, darker and they um, last longer um, like a little goes a, a long way so I would definitely just use this very small amount and just lightly spray it and it, it looks like you know you didn't spray it enough but once you wipe it it really is um, a lot so there's also terracotta there's this uh, java the walnut ink which is like a darker reddish brown and then the cornflower so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, kinda how I made this tag but I'm gonna use some um, I'll use the same colors to show you how to make this side right here I'm just gonna do one side for you guys to demo and um, I also was using my Christmas collage stamp from Inka Dinka Do and I got it at Hobby Lobby and I just got all this um, on Columbus Day, so this past Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. And I'm going to stamp with my Tuxedo Black ink. And, and then I can just show you guys how this, is, how this works here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp it. And this stamp, these are um, our larger tags. They're... Um, the tags I get at Recollections and um, well at Michaels but they're made by Recollections I'm gonna do it this way guys so it's not so loud while I'm talking but um, they're made by Recollections and they are three and one eighth by six and a quarter so they are you know a bit larger and guys I'm putting a lot of ink on here because my ink pads are drying out so it does take me a little bit more Plus, I've stamped with this stamp before, and some of the image doesn't get pressed all the way down for some reason. Like the center part here. Okay. Alright, so we're going to see how this comes out. And since it is smaller, you will have to press it down twice. You know, make like two... Uh... Okay. And then you just line it up where you want it. Press it down, and... I'm pressing it really good because um, background stamps I find are a little more difficult to stamp with because they're so intricate and you know 
like ones that have collages like this one here. So I really push down to make sure everything's there. Okay. Okay, and that is like the best I've ever stamped with this stamp so far. So, I mean, you'll have that, and then you'll have this bottom part here, and don't worry about that, guys. Like, here I showed you this, not all the ink is coming off on it, and I don't know why. I don't know if maybe this particular stamp is worn down right there or something. But that's okay. It just adds a little more distress to the stamp. Because it's not one of those stamps that have to be solid or anything. So I guess it's really not that much of a big deal. Still gorgeous. And once it's once you spray it and everything, it looks like it's supposed to be that way. So it's really not that big of a deal. Now what you'll want to do, I found the best way, is to actually, can you see guys? To actually set it up like this, so you can see where your um, where everything's gonna line up, and I go just a hair, um, so you can see just a hair. Um, you guys can see that down there, that black part right down there. That is part of the image you already stamped, and if you do that, you won't have all these gaps in between your two stamps images. So then you just um. Actually, I would go like an eighth of an inch or so, depending on your stamp. And then just go ahead and lay it down. And then push your stamp down. And there you go. So you have um, the Happy Hol- oops, it's not focusing. The Happy Holiday, that was kind of like at the top of this part, is down on the bottom now. Okay, so that's your stamped image. And... Let me just clean my stamp real quick so I don't have it. And to clean my stamp, I spray it with this um, stamp cleaner by um, Ranger. It's Ink Essentials Water-Based Stamp Cleaner. And then I'll just take a paper towel and then just press down over it once I've sprayed it down. And if you find that's not enough, they have um, cleaning pads out there as well that I use too. Just depending on... Um, how dirty my stamps are or how intricate they are and um, I get most of it off so I can clean the rest of it later. So now I'm done with the black ink because I'm just going to do one side for you guys. Now it, because I use the um, tuxedo uh, black ink it dries fairly quickly so you don't have to worry. You can spray almost immediately. Just I would give it a, just a couple seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the eucalyptus one. And you gotta shake it up, and it, you can shake it as hard as you want because there's no like glitter or anything like that in there. Now I will say that the cherry blossom one does have a slight like glittery sparkle to it. I don't know if you guys can catch that. But it's very very faint, but it, it's there. Okay, so we're gonna shake it up, and like I said, don't use a lot. There's, it's not necessary to use that much. So all you want to do is I would hold it just like a couple inches away. Um, further, if you want to, you know, get more surface area. Okay, see? That might even been a little too much, guys. Because you can rub it around and spread the, spread the ink around. It's really, really nice. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So there you go. I used less than I did the first time I did it. But you can see how much comes off. So you definitely want, you can even use less than I just did. Because I'm at, I didn't use too much that time, but that's good. And then if you want, sorry it'll be a little loud guys, but then you can heat set it. Just dry it up a little bit. And it also dries fairly quickly. You just kind of want it dry before you start um, distressing the edges. Okay. And I'm not going to um, actually distress with a, any distressing tools. I am just going to use my um, frayed burlap. And my... Um, the... Tim Holtz ink applicator and my free burlap is like really really dry 
So I have to really, really get in there with my... Okay. And then all you do is you just kind of rub around it like this. Normally if you have a nice juicy pad, you can uh, get further with your ink, but I'm having trouble with my pad today. And it's very, very simple. You know, you just go around all the edges. Just in a circular motion. It's probably the easiest way to give like a fading effect. And then I'll show you what I do at the end as well. And you can see a lot of it's going on my paper. That's okay. I actually did this tag a lot faster earlier. I don't know if like when you're talking on the camera and explaining things that it takes just a little bit longer. That's all you really want to do. And then at the very end, I just do this, and I go on the towards the edge, and I rub it down, because it makes the very edge darker. And it showed up more on the red side than it did on, on this side here. This is all you want to do. Very simple. And then you'll have this nice... um. There's that one I did, and then there's this one. And then that's it, guys. Okay, this is the one that I just demoed for you guys. You can see how the edges are darker. It kind of fades in. And then this is the one I did earlier. So, that's it. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I hope you guys will enjoy having these products. And so if you can see the before, just a plain white tag, and then after. Really pretty. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy scrapping, and I hope every everything I'm showing you helps. Bye.